two, one. For generations, visitors have come to the American Museum of Natural History to see some blue whales, Tyrannosaurus rex, and so on. On January the 15th this year, the museum will see another iconic member, a cast of the Titanosaur, as we now call it. Well, this exhibit is really special in the sense that it's the first time that an animal that's this complete has been put together into an entire skeleton. So, you know, at 122 feet, it's really a large animal. In real life, you would have weighed in at about 70 tons, and this Titanosaur is just a young adult. Its 39-foot-long neck extends out towards elevator banks, and its head peeks out of the gallery to welcome visitors to the fossil floor. With its neck up, this titanosaur is tall enough to peek into a five-story building. I think that that you know everyone I brought through here has just been totally amazed just by the size of this thing, and I mean it's just that. It's just, I mean, other dinosaurs we've known, you know, previously, like the Apatosaurus and Diplodocus and all that kind of thing. We thought of those as really giant animals because of, they were a few times bigger than an African elephant, the largest animal alive is today. But then when you see this, it makes those animals look small. Discovered in 2014 in Argentine Patagonia, the dinosaur is so new that it has not even been formally named by the scientist who discovered it. The skeleton on display doesn't include any real fossils, though. We keep our, our actual fossil specimens in very specific environments, and they're scientific specimens which we study. Also, the whole mounting process is real difficult because, you know, this one bone right up here, uh, that the original one, which is on the wall over here, weighs uh, 500 kilograms, and you wouldn't be able to support a skeleton of that kind of weight without having it. Uh, very, you know, obtrusive as far as all the metal on it to hold it together. So it's much better to go with cast elements because then we can have the animals in lifelike dynamic poses and it doesn't endanger that the actual specimen, which is of tremendous scientific importance.